Jordan Travis had his final year tragically cut short due to injury, and we missed some important games that would help his evaluation. Still, based on what he's shown, is Travis capable of translating his skills to the NFL? Find out in this 2-Minute Drill. Travis is undersized for a quarterback at 6'1 and 200 pounds. Being small for a QB, Travis heavily utilizes scrambling and throwing on the run in order to extend plays and make passes downfield. This playstyle plays to Travis's strength well. He's very good at throwing on the run and keeping his eyes up in order to find receivers downfield. Travis has the legs to take off and pick up yards on scrambles or designated runs. His quickness also buys time to get off a good pass and give his receivers a chance to make a play. Travis has good accuracy and placement in the short to intermediate parts of the field. He hits the receivers in the chest or puts it in the spot where only they can go get it. Travis is very confident in throwing the ball over the middle of the field. He's not afraid to complete passes in tight windows. He has good knowledge of what he can and can't get away with. Travis is also able to dance in the pocket, evading pressure to gain enough space to get off quick throws for checkdowns. Travis is very secure with the ball. He rarely makes a mistake or puts the ball in harm's way. Travis's most glaring weakness is his arm strength. There isn't enough zip on his deep passes to fit them in the right windows and he has a habit of underthrowing open receivers instead of hitting them in stride for big plays. Travis also isn't great at sticking in the pocket with pressure in his face and getting a good pass off. He panics and neither takes off or makes an errant rushed pass. For a pro comp, Jordan Travis reminds me of Connor Shaw. Shaw was a similarly built QB with a middling arm and inability to handle pressure in the pocket, but managed to make plays happen with his legs and on the run. Shaw went undrafted due to his size and injuries, but the NFL has come around on smaller QBs, so Travis should be drafted. For a draft range, as we said, Travis should hear his name come draft night. His scrappiness and leadership while taking care of the ball makes him an ideal backup quarterback. However, injuries and question about his fit in an NFL offense may cause him to tumble all the way out of the draft. Travis's saving grace is the QB class is not that great outside the top names this year and he should find a backup job in the league and I think he will go in the middle of day 3. And that's the 2 minute drill.